Hello everyone and welcome back to the Starseed Dragon channel. We are reviewing the Forest of Enchantment Tarot and we are on the Minor Arcana and it says Aces. Each ace offers you a magical ally, a helpful companion as you journey through the Forest of Enchantment. The allies give you magical tools to use in your quest. A staff a gazing pool, a silver arrow, and a healing ring. When an ace comes up in a reading, consider it a positive sign. More than one ace is even better. The universe is dealing you a winning hand. And we're going to start off with the Ace of Spells. Gorgeous dragon. Love it. So this is probably wands we see because it's fire, and there's a wand there. Ace of Spells. The enchanted ally for spells is a um, weirvern. What, wyvern? Weirvern. There are many types of weirverns, including some that live in the sea. This is a forest weirvern, um, also known as a fire drake. This primarily green body, or its primarily green body, is an excellent camouflage. And unless you look closely, you may completely miss it perched in a tree above your head until it breathes a little fire, of course. Don't worry, the fire drakes of the forest of enchantment have their fiery nature under control and can channel it perfectly. This ally will help you do the same with yours. The Wyvern, Wyvern, Wyvern says, let's heat things up. The Wyvern's gift to you is a wizard's staff. The power of the staff depends entirely on the person who wields it. A wizard's staff without a wizard is just a stick. Intention is everything in magic, and the staff directs the wizard's will toward the desired outcome. Your wyvern uh, has added a bit of dragon fire as an extra energy boost. The rest is up to you. Meaning at a glance. A new sense of purpose, a new or revitalized project, magic, will, fearlessness, Confidence, a burst of energy, fire element. A closer look. The best way to tell a wyvern from a dragon is to count its legs. Two legs, wyvern. Four legs, dragon. I did not know that. Still looks like a dragon. They're cousins, right? We'll, we'll say they are. How's that sound? Okay, next card. Ace of Visions. How beautiful. The enchanted ally for visions is the swan. Renowned for their grace and beauty, swans are also powerfully strong, fierce, and faithful in love. So this must be the equivalent of cups, right? They mate for life in marriages that may last... 20 years. Swans are emotional and expressive creatures, calling out in triumph when they roost when they roust an enemy, emitting one last lament as they leave this life. The swan says, "A dream is a wish your heart makes." The swan's gift to you is a tiny enchanted pool in a secluded glade. When the water is still, it becomes a magic mirror. All that you desire is reflected here. And most importantly, so is your own true self. You have nothing to fear from this. Your swan knows that your true self is noble, pure, and beautiful. Meaning at a glance. Serenity, compassion, spirituality, kindness, a new way of seeing, a gift of love, water elements. A closer look. Do you see the irises reflected in the water? 
irises symbolize the connection between heaven and earth. It's gorgeous. Oh, yes. Okay. Ace of Challenges is next. The enchanted ally for <coughs> challenges is the white raven. Ravens are birds of fabled intelligence, both world, worldly and otherworldly. The white raven's <coughs> particular expertise is strategic communication. He knows when you should speak and when you should be silent. His shrewd eye pierces to the heart of the matter. Call upon him only if you really want the truth. He is your spy, your advocate, your battle cry. The white raven says, think and stay alive. The raven's gift to you is a silver arrow that never misses its mark. Part of its enchantment is the arrow itself, but the magic is completed through your focus and the ethics of your motive. If your aim is true, you cannot fail. Meaning at a glance. Intelligent, intelligence, discernment, insight, focus, communication, strategy, an advantage in a challenge or conflict, air element. A closer look, a pure silver arrow shot straight into the heart releases all evil from an adversary. This can be done on the etheric plane as well. <clears throat> okay, beautiful, Ace of Boons. The enchanted ally for boons is the toad. First things first, never confuse a toad with a frog. It offends them both, and you definitely want to stay on your toad's good side, for he is a luck magnet. His specialties are healing and prosperity, but he is helpful with any kind of manifestation you might need. This is why toads have long been associated with witches and wizards. Sorceresses in particular have always known the benefits of a toad partnership when it comes to manifestation spells. She sends out the magic and toad brings it home. The toad says, keep all your feet on the ground. The toad's gift to you is a toadstone ring. Toadstones are not the most attractive amulets, perhaps, but their power is legendary. A toadstone is an all-purpose antidote and changes color in the presence of any poison. Toadstone rings are also protect against curses and other supernatural mischief. Meaning at a glance, prosperity, healing, luck, practical applications of magic, earth elements. A closer look. If a toad offers you a toadstone, it is considered rude to ask him where he got it. Just say thank you. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to go over to the twos. You could say that the twos are really the first cards of the Minor Arcana because this is where the stories start. Each of the twos shows what you need to do first to do well with that particular suit. Whatever you will face in your journey through the forest, having the twos in your metaphorical backpack will serve you well. The two of spells says, clarify your intention. The two of visions says, open your heart. The two of challenges says, know yourself. The two of boon says, balance your responsibilities. Two of spells. This is a place of power where ancient wood wisdom is sought. After paying his respects to the trees, the seeker kneels in the forest floor and takes out a set of small wooden staves. They are carved with symbols that make up an ancient divinatory alphabet, each symbol corresponding to a tree or shrub. These staves were created over many years. The pieces of wood gathered slowly from different trees so that each contains the wisdom of that tree, 
casting the staves upon the ground. The seeker pours over the patterns, discerns the messages, clarifies and questions. He listens to what the trees have to tell him. The first step of any spell is to determine what you want. Without a clear intention, your magic will fail. Consulting an oracle can be part of the process of beginning any endeavor. You are doing so right now with these cards. One interpretation of the two of spells might be ask again. Go ahead, draw another card or two. Meaning at a glance. Divination, uh, decision, setting an intention, the beginning of solving the problem or changing the situation. A closer look. The staves in his hands are you uh, on the left and alder on the right. Alder is for prophecy and oracular powers, and the maker of these staves says, You was historically used for wooden Ogham staves. It is a deep, dense, dark, rich wood full of resonance with the other world. Hmm, interesting. Next card. The Two of Visions. So this would be the Two of Cups, yes? Okay. Though both women felt compelled to go into the forest that day, they never were able to fully explain it. It was as if each had lost something in the woods, suddenly remembered it, and ran back to reclaim it. Separately, one from the east, one from the west, they hurried forward as if late for an... Uh, assignation? assignation um, darting into the clearing at the same moment they beheld each other before the first or for the first time and yet both instantly knew this was why they had been called for too many years each had walked a lonely path each with an empty place at the center of their being now they meet at the heart of the forest their hands entwining their eyes shining in recognition of the other half of their soul. This card signifies that the beloved is nigh. This may be a romance, a true friend of the heart, or even a spiritual awareness breaking through. Something that has been missing is about to be found. You will know it without doubt when it appears. Meaning at a glance, recognition of a significant other. A new romance, kindred spirits, true friendship, sisterhood, brotherhood. A closer look. Red and white roses together symbolize a pure and enduring love. Excellent. Next card. Two of Challenges, Traveling Through the Forest. So this would be the Two of Swords, yes. Traveling through the forest, a young man suddenly comes upon a magic mirror blocking his path. The looking glass hangs in midair with no visible means of support and no way to remove it. The forest is thick with undergrowth here. He can't go forward. He can't go around. He doesn't want to go back. So he chooses the obvious solution. He looks into the mirror. He sees himself exactly as he is. No mystical vision or otherworldly entity, just his own startled, wide-eyed self. You may have gotten into a situation from which there is no obvious uh, positive movement forward. This card signifies a pause for clarification. Not about the situation, but about your place in it. You can't go any farther in this path or on this path until you take a long look at yourself. Stop being in denial about your own faults and failings. Stop distracting yourself to avoid facing the truth. You will make better progress when you are clearer about your true intentions. Meaning at a glance. Stalemate inability to compromise, a pause for contemplation. 
a closer look. The mirrors have a long history in the world of enchantments. While you may on occasion see other beings in the mirror, remember that it is also a magical power to truly see yourself. Beautiful. Two of booms. <clears throat> What's going on with my voice? A villager has been gathering firewood in the forest and is now wending his way home. The heavy baskets make a precarious burden, so keeping his balance on the narrow bridge should command his full attention. But his mind is elsewhere, not fully present with his task. It would be all too easy to fall off the bridge and smash on the rocks below. Not a pleasant prospect, even before you factor in the ogre. Wait, the ogre? Oh. <laughs> An ogre is hiding under the bridge. This is a ferocious cannibal, and he would make quick work of the man if he fell. This card is a warning to not take on more than you can safely balance and attend to. There is something called the lazy man's load, where a person piles on the cargo to avoid having to make a second trip. This rarely ends well. Work sensibly and give your full attention to your endeavor or all could be lost. There are hidden influences just waiting for you to slip up. Meaning at a glance, balance, steady attention, agility, taking care of your assets. A closer look. Ogres tend to blend into their surroundings, so they aren't always easy to spot. Vigilance is called for. If possible, peek under all bridges before crossing. It's always good advice. Okay. Threes. Generally speaking, the energy of odd-numbered tarot cards tends to be more active or creative than even-numbered cards. Excuse me. The threes move the energies you... The threes move the energies you met in the twos in a chosen direction, for good or ill. The three of spells says, activate your magic. The three of visions says... Find kindred spirits. The three of challenges says, don't betray your conscience. The three of boons says, combine your resources. Okay. Three of spells. Let me just drink some coffee here. Okay. Walnut shells filled with beeswax and magic are set alight and released upon a forest stream. Fire gives energy to the magical intention, and releasing it to the flowing water sets the spell in motion. The flames will burn until all the wax is consumed, and then the tiny boats themselves will burn or sink. Their actual destination doesn't matter. Symbolically, it's the sea or the other world um, or wherever wishes go when they are released. Oh, uh, let's see. Will o the wisps fly down to accompany the boats? Drawn as always by the power of fire magic. This card invites you to become the cloaked magician casting a new spell. Follow the movement of the fire boats in the dark water and envision your own project gathering energy. Whatever you launch now has an excellent chance of success. Meaning at a glance. The beginning of a new enterprise. Putting your creative energy out into the world and watching to see what comes of it. A closer look. Walnut Lore says that if someone gives you a bag of walnuts, your most recent wish will come true. Interesting. I never heard that before. Who has? Let me know in the comments. Next up, 
Three of Visions. Oh, three bears. Even in the enchanted forest, this is a remarkable sight. What appears at first to be a rumble of aggressive bears is revealed to be quite the opposite. Be decked with garlands of blackberry brambles, three bewitching bears are dancing together in celebration. What are they celebrating? It's a beautiful day in the forest and they are bears. What could be better than that? They dance barefoot <laughs> on a carpet of wood violets that release their sweetness in the air, adding to the delight of the day. You don't have to be a bear to know that making time for friendship is as important as any other aspect of life. If you've been neglecting your connections to friends, now is the time to make it a priority. Gather with those who know you well and with whom you can be yourself. You don't need a special occasion. The time you spend in good company is a celebration in itself. Meaning at a glance, friendship, pastime with good company, uh, playfulness, laughter, the delights of companionship. A closer look. Wood violets are a symbol of gentle kindness in the language of flowers. Violets say, would you like to be my friend? Beautiful. Three of challenges. Oh. <clears throat> so this would be three of swords, right? I can tell because he looks heartbroken. What do you think? It is easy to get lost in the woods. It is also easy to get rid of something there. A desperately poor man has brought his little daughter and son far into the forest, intending to leave them to their fate. At home, only slow starvation awaits them. Perhaps among the wild beasts, their end will be quicker. This is a terrible moment. It is the moment when a father abandons his children. The children are puzzled, but they trust him. They will wait here for his return. You've probably heard a tale like this before. Alas, there have been many children abandoned in the enchanted forest. In the stories, they frequently do quite well for themselves, but the brutal betrayal is not easily overcome. This card signifies a hardening of emotions and fateful decisions made in a moment of weakness and fear. It is a warning to protect yourself and it also cautions against hurting others. There are many kinds of betrayal and many ways to break your own hearts. That just makes me really sad. It's a great definition though. Meaning at a glance, betrayal, a heartless decision, an abuse of trust, a stupid and unnecessary drastic action. Everyone involved is hurt. A closer look. Magical brambles rapidly grow across the path, springing from the anguished tears of the fleeing father. That's a very sad card even in this deck, right? I mean, I don't know about you, but I think that the Three of Swords is like seriously the most sad and painful um, card in the entire tarot. My personal opinion. Okay, Three of Boons. In a cozy forest, forest cottage, three friends are working together to make a potion. The earth goblin sorts through the mushrooms she gathered. She lives close to the ground and has a keen eye for each growing thing's usefulness. The old witch brews and bottles the potion. She sprinkles a good pinch of enchantment, adding power to the pot as she stirs. The raven writes out the spell instruction, instructions and affixes them to the bottles that will be sealed with beeswax. Her expertise comes from poetry and from instinct. These friends are here to remind you that even the smallest task 
sorting mushrooms, for instance, can contribute to a greater purpose, especially if it's done with a happy and willing heart. Offer your skills to <clears throat> offer your skills to projects that can use them. And don't be shy about asking others to collaborate on your own projects as well. Many hands make light work, as the saying goes, and they also make the work much more fun. Meaning at a glance, cooperation. Separate parts adding up to a greater whole. Fruitful times in happy company. A closer look, the potion ingredients include bracket fungus, am amanita, muscaria, boletus, sh chanterelle, rosemary, mandrake, mint, pine needles, and laughter. Excellent. I really like that. That's a nice card. Okay, we're moving on to the fours. This is taking a while. We might have to uh, um, stop and um, do another video because we're sitting at 26 minutes. How about we do the four, start with the fours in the next video? Sounds like a plan. I will see you in the next video and um, we'll get through this deck. It's a pretty awesome deck. It's the Forest of Enchantment Tarot and um, I'm really, really liking this. I hope you are too. If you are and you want to get one for yourself, I do have an affiliate link in the description box below. Other than that, I'll see you on the next video.